and another unboxing. New, interesting, random, tool guy films. All right, so this is a lens. A lens which will be very useful to me, hopefully on Monday. Although what I was planning on using this lens for on Monday might not necessarily happen. But anyway, we'll, we'll see when we get there. That, that's like three days away from when I'm filming this, so. But anyway, this is a lens. It's a Panasonic Prime lens, 20mm f1.7. And the whole point of this lens, actually it's a 25mm f1.7. Anyway, the point of this lens is to be a very good in low light and have better image quality, although honestly, the image quality won't be probably noticeably better than my current lenses. I just wanted something that did better in low light and was just, you know, the heck? <laughs> very interesting packaging method. I guess I got free packaging materials. But yeah, I just wanted something that was going to be easier to use for some of my videos. Like, especially some of the videos like this that I shoot. The 25mm is the right focal length. I just want something that do this a little better in low light. So that I don't have to focus as much on putting up, you know, lights and stuff. But I can still get away with not, you know, having, like, a ton of noise in the image without having a bunch of light. Man, he really packaged this thing. Alright, it came with a little bag right here. I wish you would have put it in the bag. It's a very deep bag, actually. And it did not come with the lens cover. So there's... I can get it, get to it. Jeez. Yeah. As you can see, no, no lens hood. I did buy this on eBay. Um, so this is a used lens. But yeah. Um, I mean, I have, I have an extra um, lens cover because I normally keep one on my camera. So I mean, it's fine that it doesn't have one. I just wish it would have. So it have been easier to store and a little safer. But let's uh, let's check this lens out because this was bought on eBay, so we wanna, you know, make sure that it is up to standards. So for those of you that don't know, this is how you check for things like excessive dust in the lens, if there's any um, mold in the lens, which mold is a very, very big no-no. You do not want that in the lens at all. And it looks like there's not anything. No scratches, no cracks in the glass. So that is good. So yeah, looks like the lens is intact. Anyway, like I said, 25mm f1.7. I'll be doing a review of this. And yeah, this is supposed to come off just so you know. So pretty nice lens. Really good in low light. So I'll be doing some low light tests, obviously. Overall, that's that's pretty much it. This is, this is the lens. And... I'm gonna go ahead and shut off my lights. This is what I look like without any lights on. And I'm gonna switch over to this lens and open it up and show you guys just how much brighter it is compared to this lens, which is a 12 to 35 millimeter f3.5 aperture. So with this one having a much wider aperture, it will be much brighter once I put this on. All right, so as you can see, the field of view is quite a bit narrower because this is a 25 millimeter lens and the lens I had on before was a 12mm lens. However, as you can see, it was also much, much brighter. And if I were to turn on the lights I have on right now, it would be super ridiculously bright. So, very, very good. Um, this is only an 800 ISO, so great image. And yeah, anyway, that's it for this video. If you're interested in this lens, please check it out via my link in the description. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If not, feel free to hit the dislike button. If you have any questions about this lens or anything else in this video, feel free to leave a comment, and if you want to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button.